Ryan in California says, I teach economics in high school and focus a lot on personal finance. I also try great. to teach these same lessons to my own kids. Besides teaching them to avoid debt, I also like to teach them the basics of investing. Are there any brokerage firms that you would recommend for first-time investors and any advice about investing that I can give them? I wish I had started at their age. Okay, so Ryan, fantastic you do what you do. I was laughing when Krista was reading your post because I have three kids and it seemed like growing up, none of them have heard a word I said about the the basics of personal finance and investing uh what's the cobbler's the cobbler's ch children have no shoes yeah uh <laughs> so it seems as they get older they were hearing stuff i was saying thank goodness but it is hard with your own kids but ryan going to your kids or even others uh, who are asking the question I love what Fidelity Investments has done more than any other investment firm in offering the ability for people who are minors to have investment accounts and people of any age to be able to open accounts with $1 and to have access to Fidelity's zero funds. Fidelity is a marketing thing, but it's a long-term play on their part has a small number of funds, index funds, which are where I like for you to be anyway, that they charge no commissions, but more important, they charge no ongoing administrative expenses. They absorb them at Fidelity. So they have really done the best job of anybody I've seen, in my opinion, of offering an entry point for people starting investing and especially for minor children, they allow more uh, flexibility and discretion on the part of minor children than anybody else I know of in the investment business. I have to tell you something. Yep. <laughs> Your oldest child, who is amazing and kind and sweet, I was having a conversation with her the other day, and she was talking about an online purchase, and she mentioned she used her debit card. And I was like, your debit card? Your dad hates debit cards. She knows. Okay. She's known that forever. <laughs> she said she she acted like she didn't know that. I was like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. So, <laughs> so the deal with Rebecca is she worries about uh, going into debt. Mm -hmm. As she should. That's and smart. so that's very important to her. And she feels as if she, she has credit cards, but that if she used them mm -hmm. for everyday purchases, she would spend herself into oblivion and the debit card provides discipline. That's why I've always said that's a circumstance where using a debit card is okay. And uh, that was before I was fully aware that that's why Rebecca was doing that. I love that. And you know what? I would even go a step further, have a separate bank account for what you're willing to spend per month and use the debit card from that. And then like another account Which for your mortgage. Great and advice. Maybe you should have your own podcast. Heck that was no. really good. Heck no.